everyone and welcome to Medisimplified. So in this video we will talk about BIRADS. So what is BIRADS? Breast Imaging Reporting and Data System. Breast Imaging Reporting and Data System. So a bit of history before we go to actual uh, BIRADS. Initially before the BIRADS came what used to happen that uh, the surgeon or the radiologist uh, used to use different terminologies for the various uh, results from the imaging and so it used to make it difficult for the some for some time sometimes it used to make it difficult for the follow-ups and uh, sometimes also for surgeons for the managing outcomes for managing the outcomes of from the uh, imaging so what the american college of radiology uh, came with an conclusion came with an idea of pyrax which was a standard management and reporting system that is Breast Imaging Reporting and Data System known as BIRADS. So from then the conclusion came to an end and all the radiologists and surgeons all over the world use a universal terminologies based on BIRADS for all the imaging outcomes of the breast. Welcome again. So now we will talk about BIRADS in actual. Alright. BIRADS in actual. So BIRADS that is Breast Imaging Reporting and Data System which I think I have told you more than a 10 times I guess. So Breast Imaging Reporting and Data System that is our topic for today. So about which the history I have already mentioned or the need for it I have already mentioned. So in all anyone can say how many categories do we have in BIRADS? The first question. So in total we have seven categories in BIRADS that is 0 to 6 if you count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so total 7 categories so it was given by ACOR that is what is ACOR it is American College of Radiologists and this is a standard reporting and management system standard reporting and management system So, so another question which is can, which can be asked that BIRADS is applicable for which imagings? BIRADS is applicable for which imaging? So it can be a mammogram, it can be a USC or it can be an MRI. So it is applicable for all the three imagings which is done in breast usually that is mammogram, USD and MRI. So now talking about the BIRADS. For BIRADS we have a, I have a table that is the final assessment categories of BIRADS. So we will, what we'll do, I'll mention some findings, then it is included in this category, then the management and risk of malignancy. In this way, we'll follow. Suppose the finding is, it is a incomplete evaluation. So we put it in a BIRADS 0 and uh, we need an additional imaging or uh, I will say examinations. So what we'll do, we'll not do any management, we'll recall for additional imaging and wait for prior examination so in such condition what we do we don't there is no risk of malignancy we cannot assign any risk of malignancy so what we do we do a final by rats assessment that we will assign a new by rats in this system after the imaging uh, and it will be between 1 to 6 but this time it will not be 0 it will be between 1 to 6 now suppose the finding is which we will get is a bilaterally it's a bilaterally symmetrical breast. Suppose if the finding which we get next is a bilaterally symmetrical breast with no mass and no calcification. So just think by yourself, in this condition will we do any benign or malignant pathology? No, it's a negative pathology. So we call it and we give it by that one and uh, what we'll do if it is a lady, we'll call her for routine examination, routine screening that is a yearly follow-up and the risk of malignancy already mentioned it is 0%. Now next, suppose we get any fibroadenoma, suppose we get any fibroadenoma or you can say a breast cyst or a lipoma or a galactosil or any other benign condition such benign conditions are given by rats 2 are categorized as by rats 2 benign condition once again what will be the management we will do the routine screening that is the yearly follow up and risk of malignancy is 0% now coming next suppose we get a punctate calcification or a focal asymmetry 
we get a punctate calcification or a focal asymmetry. Such findings are mentioned as categorized as by rats 3 and we call it as a probably benign condition and in this conditions we not do a yearly follow-up instead of that we do a short interval follow-up that is six month follow-up and we tell to continue it and the risk of malignancy is between 0 to 2 percent that is less more than 0 but less than 2. Now coming next if we get any lobulation if we get any lobulation or you'll say a tiny calcification what we do we assess it as a pyrats 4 and pyrats 4 is usually a suspicious diagnosis so what we do we do tissue diagnosis that is the management is tissue diagnosis that is we'll do either a biopsy or we'll do a FNAC so this is divided into four three categories 4A, 4B and 4C 4A is low suspicion malignancy 0 2 to 10 percent 4b moderate 10 to 50 percent 4c high suspicion for malignancy that is 50 to 95 percent now next suppose in an imaging we get a speculations or a pleomorphic calcification it is categorized as by rats 5 and this image this findings that is speculation micro calcification or you can say an enlarged lymph node this all are by rats 5 that is they are highly suggestive of malignancy and the risk of malignancy is more than 95 percent so what we do biopsy and FNAC again next suppose you get a post-op recurrent patient a post operative recurrence or a known case of malignancy post-op recurrence or a known case of malignancy such uh, category such uh, events are categorized as mal uh, by rat 6 known biopsy proven is said and what we'll do surgical excision when clinically appropriate imaging is obtained risk of malignancy not applicable or I'll say a hundred percent risk of malignancy so this was all about by rats I want to uh, this table I'll put it on my Instagram Instagram page on also on Facebook so this was all about by rats that is breast imaging reporting and data system the category 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 accordingly the findings and the management and risk of malignancy hope you like the video please like share and subscribe my channel Medi Simplified. thank you